the midday office for August 6th. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Laud him, all you peoples. For his loving kindness towards us is great, and the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. Hallelujah. Even so, come, Lord Jesus, come. For you are the Lord, most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. This is my Son, the Chosen One. Listen to Him. The midday reading is read from Second Peter chapter 1, verses 16-18. through 18, The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. When we told you about the power and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, we were not slavishly repeating cleverly invented myths. No, we had seen His majesty with our own eyes. He was honored and glorified by God the Father. When a voice came to him from the transcendent glory, This is my Son, the Beloved. He enjoys my favor. We ourselves heard this voice from heaven when we were with him on the holy mountain. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is my Son, the Chosen One. Listen to him. The midday psalm is read from Psalms chapter 110, verses 1 through 5 and verse 7. The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. The Lord will send the scepter of your power out of Zion, saying, Rule over your enemies round about you. Princely state has been yours from the day of your birth. In the beauty of holiness have I begotten you, like dew from the womb of the morning. The Lord has sworn, and he will not recant. You are a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. The Lord who is at your right hand will smite kings in the day of his wrath. He will rule over the nations. He will drink from the brook beside the road. Therefore he will lift high his head. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is my son, the chosen one. Listen to him. Glory be to God the Father, to God the Son, and to God the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let your continual mercy, O Lord, cleanse and defend your church, and because it cannot continue in safety without your help, protect and govern it always by your goodness, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. O God, who on holy table revealed to the chosen witnesses your well-beloved Son, wonderfully transfigured, white and glistening, Mercifully grant that I and all your church, being delivered from the disquietude of this world, may by faith behold the King and his beauty, who with you, O Father, and you, O Holy Spirit, lives and reigns, one God forever and ever. Amen.